What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are showcasing a very strong team that features T-Tar and Lycanroc, and alongside it, we got Don Dozo and Tatsugiri. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. We got the Teal Mask DLC coming out very soon. So we're going to be showcasing a bunch of brand new Pokemon on the competitive scene. So again, if you guys are interested in that, make sure you guys click that subscribe button. But Dondozo is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. And I absolutely love Dondozo, especially paired up with Tatsugiri. This one has Oblivious with the Figgy Berry as item, and then a very versatile moveset with Wave Crash, Earthquake, Rock Slide, and Terror Blast. In our second slot, we got Old Reliable for Regulation D. That is going to be Heat Trainer over here. Flash Fire, Life Orb, Heat Wave, Earth Power, Terror Blast, and Protect. Really can't go wrong with Heat Train in this regulation. In our third slot, we got the one and only Lycan Lycanroc, and in Series 3 and Series 2, you've seen Lycanroc and T-Tar use it a lot, but not as much in Regulation D. But still, I think they're very strong. Lycanroc's got Sand Rush to double its speed in the Sandstorm, Focus Sash as item, and then it's got a great move set of Rock Slide, Close Combat, Bulldoze for uh, Speed Control, and then Endeavor as its final move. T-Tar is in our fourth slot, and T-Tar is just so good, even by itself. It's got Sand Stream, the Choice Band as item to make it do some crazy damage, then he's got Rock Slide, Assurance, Low Kick, and Terror Blast. In our fifth slot, we got Don Thoza's best friend, Tatsugiri over here with Commander and a Choice Scarf as its item. Got Jerica Meteor, Hydro Pump, Dragon Pulse, and Icy Wind for a bit of speed control with this Pokemon with the Choice Scarf. Final Pokemon right here is Sylveon, and this Sylveon set is a little weird but strong at the same time. I know what you guys are wondering, Sylveon's over here only rocking three moves. You guys are probably like, what is going on? I get it. It threw me off at first, but this Pokemon has Sleep Talk. So since it has Sleep Talk, if this Pokemon gets put to sleep, it's going to use Sleep Talk and use Hyper Voice and Terror Blast. Only Hyper Voice and only Terror Blast. Without that fourth move, it guarantees us using a strong move with Hyper Voice or Terror Blast with Sleep Talk, so that is why it only has three moves. Really cool little thing that they're doing here with this team. Cannot wait to use it, but it's a very niche situation, so we might not even use it in today's video. But Sylveon also has the choice specs. It's got Pixelate and the Water Terror type. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Sandstorm, Lycanroc, and Dantozo Tatsugiri team. First match coming at you guys for today's video, and we are going up against an Indeedee and Armourish team. They also have Sneasler to pair up with that Indeedee, and then three very strong back-end Pokemon, the Iron Bundle, Urshifu, and Dragapult. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? We could go T-Tar, Lycanroc for the lead, considering they have no way of weather control, and plus, weather control is going to be pretty solid for us. Do I want to do that? Is that my plan? I don't know, because I think they're going to lead Sneasler and Fake Out kind of scaring me a little bit, but I still feel as... Both these guys could be pretty good. So you know what? I am going to end up leading both of them. As back-end Pokemon, I am going to go Sylveon. So I really like Sylveon, especially up against the Urshifu and the Dragapult. And then last but not least, I think my boy right here, Heatran, could get some work done. Love me some Heatran. So I'm going to rock out with him. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But yeah, we didn't bring the Don Thozo and Ta Tatsugiri, but I like to lead Don Thozo and Sylveon. It's very, very good. A lot of people are usually think that you're going to swap out Don Thozo. Well, not Don Thozo. You're going to swap out the Sylveon for Tatsugiri. But at that point, you can just go into some big-time Hyper Voices with the Choice Spec and get off some crazy damage. And then eventually, if you need to swap, you can, you can only just swap for Tatsugiri. But they end up leading Arm Rouge and Iron Bunt. The Iron B is here. so no fake out, but still, we get the Sandstone Cook. Sandstorm is cooking. And from here, I'm thinking we go Rock Slide. And on top of that, we are going to... I'm thinking of just Terrastalizing and Terra Blasting this. This Armor. Because I I don't know why. I do believe it's going to go Terra Grass. So I'm going to make a big time read here. And I'm just going to get after that thing. Could be a bad call for me. But if not... But if it's not a bad call, it's going to be an awesome call for us. And we can get this uh, free KO. The chances are it's Terra's type is Grass, right? For the most part. For the most part. So I'm going to make a hard beat here. Even though Iron Bundle's kind of a threat, I still think we're fine. Because if Iron Bundle's going to hit my T-Tar, it's going to go for probably like a Hydra Pump. So this turn we can get away with Thrasalizing. So they end up just withdrawing Armage. Okay, so we, we might have just wasted our Terra. Let's see who they end up going into. 
This is fine. That is totally fine. That makes me look like a genius as well. So they're going to go into Urshfu. We're going to Terra Blast into the Urshfu. And again, that makes me look like a genius. But that wasn't, that wasn't my plan, but it worked out. It worked out. So we get the balloons on my boy's head. We're going to straighten the flying typing. And the rock side's going to get cooking. Doing some nice damage over onto the iron bundle. And on top of that, chipping up the Urshfu. Hydro Pump is going to fly, so the Terror type actually was pretty solid because we were able to soak that up. Now Terror Blast comes out here, and we get rid of the Urshifu. We love it. And the best part about this is, Lycan Rock is fastest on the field, so I can get rid of the Iron Bundle next turn with the Rock Slide and get cooking from there. But Lycan Rock, getting things started. Same thing with T-Tar. Getting rid of Urshifu is a big, big time play for us. We're going to see a little bit of Buffet action come out here. Chip up my T-Tar, chip up the Iron Bundle, and we'll see who they want to bring out from here. I don't know if they have Indeedee in the back end. We know they got armors. We already know this. And lastly, I'm just going to go Rock Slide. And I'm going to Terra Blast again. There's no shame in Terra Blast in this slot because if they don't Terrasalize, we have like a Rock Drop and a Rock Slide regardless. So I like what we're saying. I really do. We'll see what they want to do. The battle was just straight up canceled. Quick first match here. We get things started off hot. Second match coming at you guys, and we had a clean one-turn sweep with like a Rock and T-Tar. Gotta love it. Gotta love getting the video started off that way. But we're going up against a Ting Lu team in match number two here. Ting Lu team is also rocking out with Heatran, Fortamain, Rillaboom, Urshifu, and Tornado. So they got a lot of strong Pokemon on this team. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? I kind of like the Don Dozo Sylveon lead. Get after it that way and bring Tatsugiri in the back end. I think it's going to be pretty solid for us. I like it all around. And then final Pokemon, I'm leaning a bit towards more Heatran because Heatran is going to be super effective onto the uh, the Fluttermane, onto the Rillaboom, and onto... Wait a minute. You might not even have Flash Cannon. You do not. You do not. But I could Terra be super effective onto the Urshifu. And I can also be super effective onto the Ting Lu with Terra. And then I have Earth Power for Heatran. So I like Heatran all around. Heatran can also soak up a bunch of shots from Fluttermane, so I don't really see Flash Cannon as being a super, like a crazy move that we have to have on Heatran, so I'm cool with Heatran in the back end. So instead of going in with T-Tar and Lycanroc this match, we're keeping them in the back end. We're not using them this match. We're going to try to get ripping with uh, Sylveon in turn one here. But I can see him leaving Rillaboom. Rillaboom, always a problem, especially because Fake Out. Fake Out's just an issue all around. But he has no Pokemon to put me to sleep, so Sleep Talk Sylveon is not going to come out here. But Ting Lu's going to get a lead. Ting Lu's rather annoying, considering I have Sylveon out on the field. They're also going to bring in Tornadus. They're going to lower my special attack. That's totally fine. I feel as from here, I could just wave crash. Or I can rock slide. Um, I can do a lot. I can do a lot. I might just rock slide. No, I'm going to wave crash. Anymore. I'm going to wave crash, and I'm just going to go for hyper boots. Across the board. I know it's not going to do crazy damage, but still, it should be able to do a solid amount of damage with the hyper boots. So we'll see what they want to do. I was going to say they might Terrasalize Tinglu, but they end up not doing that, which is fine by me. It's fine by me. Stealth Rocks is going to get set up here. He sets up the Rocks full of Stealth. Maybe he thought I was swapping. That's fine. You can set up Stealth Rocks. Wave Crash is coming in hot here. Going to do a nice chunk of damage, half in that HP. And this thing has Rocky Helmet. Oh! Oh, that's ugly. That's real ugly. Hyper Voice now flies KO in the Tinglu, which we love. And we can go from there, because now I'm thinking of just hard swapping Sylveon. I'm trying to get some work done with Don Dozo. Right? Probably more so my play, right? I did take a, a lot of damage. I did take a lot of damage. I do have the Figgy Berry still, so I'm thinking of just... Do I just hard swap? Let's do it. But I think there's a hot chance that they might... Actually, we can do this. We can Terra. We can Terra and Rock Slide. And then we can also swap into Tatsu. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I know Stealth Rocks is up, but if they're going to fake out the Antonizo, we have the Ghost Terror type, which is massive. It is massive. Such a big play. Such a big play. So I'm going to take a little bit of Stone's damage. It's all good. I still got the Figgy Berry on Dantozo. And on top of this, I'm going to Terror to dodge a fake out. And on top of that, Terror will dodge the super effective moves. It won't dodge them, but it will make us neutral to any grass moves incoming. So I get the commander boost. Lovely. I'm looking to drop a rock slide. I'm not too worried about Rillaboom as long as Santos can get some work done. 
we'll be chilling. The hot start from us, I'm super surprised they did not thrash slice Ting Lu, right? They probably thought I was swapping. And like I said in the, uh, I think it was the last uh, match, that's why I like the Don Dozo and Sylveon Lu. Most of the time they think Sylveon's gonna swap, and at that point you just get off some crazy damage. So Air Slash comes over to the Sylveon slot, we love it, and a Wood Hammer's coming into the slot. That's fine, we're able to soak, and Figgy Berry's coming out here. We love a good old Figgy Berry. I'm kinda upset that you outspeed me, Robin. I'm actually very upset at that. Very upset. Rock Slide's gonna fly. It's going to get rid of Tornadus. It's gonna do a decent amount of damage to Wilbur. We'll go from there. Honestly, we might be able to eat up another Wood Hammer. We're gonna get a little bit of HP back from this grassy terrain. We love it. We love it. Cool. So from here, I was gonna say we can go back into Sylveon, but we can't. We legit have her. Have that boy in her mouth. We have Tattoo in her mouth right now. Uh, but I might just pop an EQ. Actually, now Rock Slide would be your best, but. Actually, just Terra Blast and Urshifu, right? We gotta do as much damage as we can. Yeah, I'll Terra Blast Urshifu, but I think I'm gonna die out here. I see a Tarasinats coming out from this thing. And I'm hoping Tatsu here can get off at least a turn, because I would love to Icy Moon these Pokemon just to slow them down a little bit and have my back end Pokemon be able to come out here and try to clean up a lot. Because Urshifu, a little bit of an issue. We don't have Terra anymore for Heat Train. A certain strike's gonna fly here. Can you actually eat this up? You're not gonna be able to. That sucks. Because now Tatsu's gonna have to eat up a shot here. And I don't know if he's got it in him. I do not know if Tatsu's got it in him. Mmm. I really want a Tatsu for a turn. Really want a Tatsu for a turn. Tatsu, you got it in you? Please show me you got it in you. You definitely don't got it in you. This is some big damage coming in here. Yeah, you don't got it in you. Dang. Dang, we start off hot. Now they're just taking over because we don't have Terra type here. He's going to be able to KO me with Surgeon Strikes. Um, Hyper Voice is going to be your best friend. How much damage can we do with that? Because we can't protect. That's the problem. We can't protect Heat Train. We cannot protect Heat Train. Hmm. Cannot protect Heat Train. He's going to die to Surgeon Strikes. Hyper Voice is going to have to do some big time damage. Oh, dude, it's just so ugly. It's just so ugly. So we're going to Hyper Voice here. We're going to go for the Heat Wave if we can pull it off. And we'll go from there. We'll go from there. There's no point in protecting. So Surge Strike's going to come out here. He's going to go after Sylveon. It's Sylveon dies out to that. Ouch. Ouch. But yeah, we're, we're just, we're so done here. We're just so done here. E-Train, not the call. I mean, if we would have brought like a Rock or Titar, it wouldn't have been the call either. But our best bet would have been if we had a Terra type. But we do not. We simply do not. Wow, nice little damage on the Urshfu too. Some lovely damage on the Urshfu. If we just had one turn with Sylveon, oh, that would have been gorgeous. That would have been gorgeous. But it was a great call for him to go into my Sylveon slot. It really was. So... That's going to be it. Their Tailwind is gone. And we'll go from there. Go from there. Does he try and outspeed by chance? Probably not, right? No shot. 108. He's going to go for a Surgeon Strikes. I am going to stay in here and I'm going to go for an Earth Power. Because if we land it, maybe. Probably not. Yeah, no. We're dead. Cool. GG's to our opponent. Solid second match. We started off hot with Don Dozo and Sylveon. But Urshvu in the back end was just too much power for us to handle. Final match on its way, and let's grab ourselves a winning record. We ended up losing that second match. It's all good. We're going up against a Gothitelle and Screamtail team with Murkrow, Enamorous, who's a really cool Pokemon, Arcanine, and Amoongus. So I'm guessing this is more like a Paris Song team, right? Makes the most sense. So who do I want to go into from here? I could go Sandstorm Combo. Sandstorm Combo is always lovely. It's always solid. Or I could go Sylveon and Don Dizzy again. I really like that lead. I really like both these Pokemon. Especially if he's going to intimidate me, maybe with Arcanine. And Amoongus is there. I kind of want them a lot. So I'm going to go into both of them. And you know what? I'm just going to go same squad. I like Heatran up against a few of these Pokemon. Actually, do I go Titar by itself? Yeah, let's go Titar by itself. I like that a little bit better. Titar just has that choice band. Very versatile with its moveset. So as a back-end Pokemon, I, th I feel like it's going to rock out well. Plus Heatran let us down a little bit. Even though we were going up against Urshfu. Probably should have saved my tarot for that, but I really want to use it on the Dantozo. Seemed like a good time to use it. 
But Ursula in the back can always do me dirty. It's just so powerful. It's so powerful. Outspeeds, it can one-shot pretty much any Pokemon. And it just tears up the meta. But Arcanine is going to come out here for a lead alongside with Screamtail. Screamy Screamtail. He's going to come out here. And he's going to intimidate me, but I'm oblivious. We love it. We love it. And then I'm special attacking on this side. So good old oblivious play here. Um, Protosynthesis is going to pop with Screamtail. And usually it's a defense boost. But this time it's a speed boost. So I think from here, we're just going to go Wave Crash. If you want to tear it into grass or whatever, that's fine. I'm just going to Hyper Voice across the board. Hyper Voice is going to do some nice damage. We really like it. So we'll see what they do. They end up just withdrawing the arc. He's going to go into Gothitelle maybe and try to set up Parasol. That'd be fine by me. I'm attacking right now. Yeah, that's fine. Just trying to set up the Parasol. That's cool. That's fine by me. I'm fine with that. I got big time attackers coming in hot here. We're not playing around. I cannot swap them yet. And they thought I was they thought I was swapping uh Sylveon. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm just attacking. Look at that. We already almost have got to tell that. It's gonna Citrus Berry up, but a hyper voice will okay kill that. So Citrus Berry comes out here. I like where we're sitting. I don't mind it. Parish Song's gonna drop. And we're just gonna go into another hyper voice. Hyper voice and attack scream tail. I will wave crash in this slot. We'll go into a hyper voice here. We'll get after it. This goth tail is probably going to protect, but if it doesn't, Hyper Voice will just KO it. It's just a solid start for us. That's why, like I said, Sylveon Dondozo is fine. Oh, I forgot about Fake Out. So you're going to Fake Me Out, and you're going to disable my Wave Crash. Oh, you guys are so annoying. Leave me alone. You're going to disable my Hyper Voice? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is kind of annoying me. I'm, I do not like this. Um, okay. I will go for a rock slide instead. So I'm going to rock slide now. I'll go for hyper. So I'm choosing. I have to go into this. And he's just going to withdraw screen tail. That's fine. Cool. I didn't want you disabling my hyper voice. Leave me alone. Cool. So withdraw is going to come out here. A moon is going to come out. Out and about. And he's just going to protect Gothapel. Oh my lord. Chill. The parasong is just killing me. It's gonna be so dirty. Rockside comes in here, chips up some damage on the Moongus. Hyper Voice is gonna fly here, doing some nice damage to the Moongus as well. Moongi, coming after you. Coming after you. The par so I die out the Parasong all day here. It's wild. And I guess that's it. I guess that's it. <laughs> we'll go for Rock Slide and we'll go for another Hyper Voice, just looking to do some nice damage. And that is just so ugly, but that's crazy how quickly they wasted out those Parasong turns. That is absurd. That's like, props to them. Fake Out came in here, Disable was big, hard swap into Amoongus. Wow. Parasong. I still got two solid Pokemon in the back, and I got the Choice Scarf on the, uh, on the one's called. Wow, and you protect the Amoongus, too. Very smart play. Yeah, I'm dying out here. I'm a goner. So I still have the T-Tar with the Choice Band, which isn't bad. And I will have Tatsu here. Okay, I understand. I understand. I understand what I gotta do. I still have Terra, and I'm thinking of just uh, Terrasalize and T-Tar to get rid of the Moongus. Probably my best bet. And then they have Screamtail Arcanine. Screamtail and Arcanine. Tatsu Giri can get some work done with maybe Hydro Pump. His Choice. We'll go from there. We'll, we'll try to figure this out. But that was such a good player by our opponent. Such a good play. Because at the beginning, I was just like, okay, we did some crazy damage to tell I feel as we should be able to get rid of that thing before Trick Room even starts. Or uh, Parasong even ends. Next thing you know, they're wasting out three, four turns instantly. So easily, too. But Screamtail comes out here. It doesn't have its booster energy anymore, which is good. We get to bring out Tatsu. Um, Sandstorm is going to get kicked up. And... From here, I just feel like we have to tear it and choice it in this, right? It's our best bet. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into a nice little choice with Terra. And I want to choice into... Probably... Mm, I got to go Hydro Pump. Even if you go for a Rage Powder, that's fine. I just have to start getting after this thing. Have to start getting after this thing. 
It's an absolute must. It ends up just withdrawing Amoogus. Okay. That's fine. Withdrawing Amoogus comes out here and he's gonna hard swap the Arcanine. Just in case. How dare you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. So I do have the choice ban. We're still gonna be able to chunk up a little bit of damage. But this team's so annoying to go up against. Like, it's just like... It's a cool team, though. It's very, like... It's very different. It's more swappy, thinky, you know? Kind of, like, do your thing. This guy ends up just tearing. Oh, lord. That is just awful. That is just awful. We're getting pumped right now. We're getting clapped up on. Chill on me. A rough, rough third battle for us. Real rough third battle. Real rough third battle. Hydro Pump's gonna come cooking on this side. How much damage are we doing? We are almost KO, which is good. And another Parasong gets set up. Come on, man! Oh, dude, I hate Parasong. I really do. Terra Blast's gonna come cooking. How much damage are we doing with Terra Blast? We're doing half. We like that. We like that. These guys are just gonna start protecting all that stuff. It's gonna be so annoying. So annoying. But we're looking to make this comeback. Parasong is annoying. They're going to probably protect up. Waste some turns out here. Um, I need Hydro Pump to land like as, as much as possible. As much as possible. I'm going to go Terra Blast into this slot. And actually, I might swap. I might go Terra Blast into this slot. Because will Terra Blast KO? I feel as they have to swap to Amoongus. But you know what? I know Terra Blast can KO that. We'll go into Hydro Pump into this slot. Let's see what they do. They end up just protecting. Okay. A little bit of protect action. Comes out here, Buffets are gonna chip up. The protect comes out here. And yeah, that's game, right? Oh my lord, am I really like dude, this is what I'm losing to? Because I'm almost positive I'm gonna KO both these Pokemon and then Amoongus just protects in this game. Ah man, don't tell me that. That's right, isn't it? Oh, don't tell me that. Yeah, Parish Count, it's going to fall to one after next turn. No. Maybe they mess up and they don't protect the Moogus, but. We're just going to Terra Blast this slot. We're going to Hydro Pump in this slot. Oh, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. How is this fun to play? That is actually probably kind of fun to play. Ends up to, oh, he ends up withdrawing. That's actually just a smart withdrawal. It, it doesn't matter as long as they have somebody to protect. E speed's coming out here. We lose this one today. My soul hurting. I miss my hydro pump anyway. Miss my hydro pump regardless. Terra Blast can come out here. Yeah, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Even if I would have KO'd both of them, even if I would have read the Amoongus going into the, the swap and I would have Terra Blast in that and KO'd it, we still would have lost this match. We still would have lost this match because it would have fell to one here. They would have just protected Moongus or Screamtail. I know they're both rocket protect. That would have been game. Oh, dude, that's just... Oh, my lord. Props to our opponent. They played really good, but it's just like... That's so hard to play around, especially when they perfectly get it going. It's so tough. But I'm going to run this one. Another 1-2 one losing record on the day. That one hurts, ladies and gentlemen. Losing in that third and final match like that. It really does hurt. We got one and two for today's video. The past two videos, we grabbed ourselves to lose the record. So next video, I definitely got to step my game up. Definitely got to step it up. But the first match was clean sweep. Lake and Rock T-Tar getting after it. Shredding up. Second match was a very, very close battle. Urshfu just doing his 30. Then in the third and final match, tough, tough going up against a Parasong team. Especially when, a, when an opponent knows how to play it. It's really tough to actually win up against them. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.